Okay, today we're gonna talk about the custom embed blocks. So what is it? Uh, before that, uh, let me show you. We actually had a new uh, uh, documentation for Codebase. Uh, it's pretty well documented. Uh, so if you search for embed, mm, we basically talk about the block embed. Uh, okay, let's go back to the readme. So this is actually a section in the in in here custom embed blocks okay so so what is block i want to basically before we go into the details of here uh we let's thank uh, who made this change okay so okay actually a little demonstration before that so if you try to use the simulator here uh the feature i'm gonna show is basically uh, Okay, basically here. So basically, you can add something like uh, this is custom block. Okay, this is a custom block. So something. Okay, and if I click this, so some it generates here because my if you click on it, I'm editing it, right? So I can make a blocks, for example. So this UI is custom defined. This block. Okay. Um okay let's look at the PR to see what it is. Okay. So well, let's thank Luca. Uh, did I pronounce his name correct? So let's uh thank Luca for for his contribution. Okay. Uh uh, Lucas, Lucas, from Brazil. Okay, thank you so much for this change. So basically, uh, I I want to uh use this uh video uh when going through his change. Also, want to uh illustrate what is actually embed, because uh, here we may have some confusion what we mean by embed, uh, because like uh I. To answer this uh, user's uh, comment, right? <laughs> so he's saying, or he or she, okay, uh, is saying like depending on how embed is considered. Uh, but but here, uh, we actually have something uh, defined called embed, right? So we actually it it kind of it actually mean that I mean something very special in our code base. Uh, here, um. Uh, so if we go through his code, um, uh, we'll talk about his change later. But uh, before that, we want to go through his code. Like uh, we also understand what uh, is in in bed. Okay, here. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll talk about something else as well <laughs> when we go through it. So basically, he added a button. This is uh, here. This is how he added button in the home page. Uh, basically, this code here, the actions, is basically he how he added the button. Uh, this is the other uh, up right corner. Okay, let's keep going. So this I think is just adding some options. So here he uh, added the custom element embed builder. Uh, so that he added his own logic. Basically, the basically the lo his own logic how this is displayed, right? I mean, this enable you to do something else if you want. Uh, here, so yeah, I mean, you can take a look. Uh, so basically, this is the show dialog where it pop up the dialog. You can you know, so this uh, is all up to you, right? Basically, uh, we this feature enable you to build your in own own embed, okay? So in our work, so he basically defines this nodes block embed, right? But in our system currently, uh, by default, we have two embed supported. One is video, one is uh, uh, image. So he basically added here. So, <coughs> so everything is uh, here we embed, we specifically means embeddable interface. You need to implement this interface. So. Uh, so basically, we had the video and the image. So this custom is new, and uh, we defined a new custom block here. Okay. 
uh, it also implements, uh, I mean, it extends block embed and also imbe uh, extend embeddable, okay? So, yeah, we also, uh, by the way, if you want to support us more on the translation, you're welcome to add the translation uh, here. Um, what I'm trying to say is uh, we have, we right now we support uh, like a 22 language, I think. Let me go up. Uh, so this is should be in the translation section. Translation. Uh, okay, let me just search for it. Cannot find it. Uh, translation. Okay, here. Uh, right now we have uh, twenty two locales, so you you can also you are also welcome to add the translation here. Okay. Um. Yes. Yeah, so. Here, uh, his change basically uh, moves this around basically uh, for image node. So some people ask why uh, image node I have this minus one. Uh, you can try it out because the for each image and as well as actually video, uh, because the, uh, so image and the video is special has a, like a special placeholder. It's like one character, and if you select if you uh, like a uh, press uh, near the image, or I mean, it could be in the bef it could be like a before the image or after the image. It depends, right? So there may be one like miscalculation here. So sometimes we add we we do the one minus one. Okay, you can try it out. Like uh, check the offset. So that's why the offset have minus one. Okay. Anyway, uh, he just moves this function around. So now we have the custom embed builder. Okay, now in the editor, we are pass we just passing around this optional parameter custom embed builder. Basically, it's basically how you want to build your uh, embed block. Okay, so here, I mean, if you if you want to use it, you have to pass it in. Okay, if you don't pass it, then we don't have it. So basically, uh, he renamed his get uh, embed node. Uh, uh, because uh, right now it's not just image, uh, yeah, and the this change uh, to uh, originally is called uh, get image uh, node. Okay, so it's no longer just image. Uh, let's see here we remove the uh, this get image. So basically, uh, this was the old code, right? He add custom. He was just trying to use the image uh, here also, yeah. Uh, if we look go back to our code to look at the, the get image, okay, I'm gonna move this here. Okay, I have actually uh, renamed the variable for the get embed node. It's actually no longer image node, so I will submit this change uh, later. Okay, yeah. So this is my local change. Um, Okay, next is let's go back to. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is, we uh, if we if you look at the, the code, uh, we def in the models uh, nodes we actually define embeddable, right? So every logic is here for regarding embeds. Uh, so basically, it's a special data structure. Right now, it only have video and. Uh, um, image um, you can add, define your own kind of embed so this is what we mean by embed uh, basically so back to his uh, change right basically so okay remember uh, here embed we means video image and whatever you consider more like block embed okay so, so what is this is what he's changing to uh, trying to do so he basically add a node embed uh, basically, uh, this thing. He added this thing here, okay? Which is not like a by default. You have to add your own code here. So you can go to the home page to look at his code, or we can go through here. So he defined a class to extend the custom block uh, embed, right? Uh, you can define your own logic, right? And uh, uh, after that, we. So he basically you need to define provide this uh custom in elements embed builder 
basically how you build it, right? Because you can define your own type, right? So right now the type is like notes. Then uh, basically uh, that's how he built it, right? That's the box you were looking at. Uh, this guy, uh, this uh, rectangle here, okay? Uh, let me see. So you need to define your logic like uh, uh, like uh, here he did this uh, show dialogue here okay uh, there's a lot of code here you may want to uh, also we uh the, the reason he moved it here uh outside get embedded node so he can so basically he, he's change he export his function so he can call it uh and also i think i explained like uh, why we have this uh so in the home page right so get embed node why we have this minus one is that uh, uh, for the block uh, it's uh, one placeholder oh, actually let me show you why okay so here uh, if you see class embed so you can see uh, when you convert to string it's a special character here uh, you can look it up okay uh, it's uh, ASCII code is this okay uh, also if you go up uh, I think it's the get lens uh, here so uh, basically uh, for the leaf for the leaf if it's not a string then it's embed okay so for embed we consider lens is one okay at least the, it's one a lens of one and the two string is uh, uh, like this so embed is very special given s uh, like a special treatment and uh, like a lens is one okay um okay then um uh, i think i'm done here uh i want to in the end answer basically uh this issue here uh it's also like uh, the whole purpose so here uh we we want to support when you delete the image or delete the video we can have a callback uh i was suggesting look at the rules okay so let's go to the code so if you uh don't know what the rules mean you should check my previous video okay so in rule basically is when the data the underlying data data is changed every time it changed we can intercept and apply the rule basically it iterate all every rule uh when you do insertion or deletion or even formatting so in this case we're interested in the deletion rule uh again if you're not familiar with what the rule is please visit my uh old uh, videos okay so basically if we can add a new rule uh every rule will be executed okay every time uh so we can intercept basically the deletion on the embed what I'm trying to say is, uh, uh, if you look at the, the example of the old code, mm, if you search for uh, embed uh, in in the rules, right? So here you can have fi you can find the code for similar logic. W what I'm trying to say is, um, basically, uh, because we're gonna add a new rule that is. Uh, uh, especially for uh, only f for embed basically we want to basically uh, in this change basically only when the deletion is uh, on embed right so you basically first thing you want to do first is uh, to distinguish like uh, if is it an embed or just regular leaf right so I mean if it's text you don't want to do anything right so you can try to check if like we have another rule here uh, called the uh, ensure embed the line rule. Uh, let's go here. Actually, this is good. Uh, uh, where is it? Okay, let let's just search for it. Okay, I actually want this right. Okay. Uh, so I think this uh, rule give you some uh, insp uh, aspiration or in inspire. Okay. So here, uh, this is ensure embed line what does it mean uh here basically 
it says prevents user from merging a line containing an embed with other rule, right? So here, uh, there's a logic to determine if it's embed, right? If it's not embed, we don't need it, okay? So this is a, a very useful logic uh, to determine if it's embed. Uh, this is in delete, right? So let's find, I mean, usually you if you want to make a change, right? You want to look at the uh, similar logic. Uh, insert embed rule, insert embed rule. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, that's the only rule. Uh, er, uh just by the way, uh, if you in uh, it's just, just in the old days. Uh, I mean, we had a rule that uh, like make sure uh, embed is on occupying the whole line. That rule is uh, removed. Uh, so that code is gone, but uh, yeah, I mean, if you go back to the Git history, you may be able to find it. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, uh, uh, as we evolve our code, we no longer require embed to take up a whole line, right? Because, uh, I mean, video maybe makes sense, but uh, for image, really, right? Image, you don't, you, I mean, it doesn't have to take up the whole line, right? Okay, so hope this gives you some uh, inspiration. And uh, the other thing is, uh, so here I'm, I'm going to work on uh, adding sh uh, font family support. We already have the font size, right? You can choose uh, large, small, right? So we still haven't implemented font family, but it's quite similar. So we just need to add another like a font family button. So I'm, I'm working on this, okay? Uh, if you have questions, uh, you can uh, actually I think that the best way is to uh, go to git to raise issue right or go to slack channel okay that's it